The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Laurel Park for our Thanksgiving Day replay show. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Hope you join us live at Laurel Park for the Thanksgiving Day program and our apple or pumpkin pie giveaway. Still a chance to come out this weekend, Friday, Black Friday, for our Guys Day Out. We'll have specials on Guys Day Out, food and beverage specials, including $2 select beers and $2 hot dogs, turkey dogs, and chicken sausages. On Guys Day Out, plenty of prizes to give away as well on Friday here at Laurel Park with the 12.30 post time. Saturday, a big card as well. The Willa on the Move and the Geisha. Two really nice stakes races, competitive fields, and the Willa on the Move and the Geisha on Saturday afternoon. More details and information on the upcoming events, including Give a Gift, Get a Gift at laurelpark.com and also our Giving Tree coming up on Saturday, December 8th. And choose a prize from underneath our Giving Tree and our Giving Tree promotion. If your name is selected, don't forget to bring your camera and get a picture with Santa uh, on December 8th, Saturday. The 2019 Maryland Jockey Club calendar will also be given out on Saturday, December 8th. All the details, laurelpark.com or on social media, Twitter, at Laurel Park. Here's the opener on the Fast Main Track on Thanksgiving Day. And they're off of the Thanksgiving Day opener. Superstar Diva and 86 Mets with good breaks and Lemonada Mikado over the outside. Artiful Move also has speed in the yellow cap. Another five lengths back and String Bean settles far outside. Lulu's on move down inside of that one and still sexy at 60 in Janelle Dreams. And Say Yes to Me is the one well outrun. Some 26 lengths off the pace up ahead set by Superstar Diva. Superstar Diva about a length and a half from 86 Mets Artiful Move and Lemonada Mikado is in fourth. Lulu's on the move in fifth. Still sexy at 66 and right in the inside, the opening quarter went at 24.55. Led by Superstar Diva, three quarters of a length on the big favorite, 86 Mets. Artiful Move is in third. And now Lulu's on the move, comes off that inside of between horses and fourth, and Lemon Avocado is racing in fifth. Still sexy at 60, down inside there, and behind that flight of runners, a length and a half more. String Bean, Janelle Dreams is next, and say yes to me, last of them all. Superstar Diva still setting the fractions, 48.13 was the half mile. Has the lead of a head over 86 Mets as they swing for home now. 86 Mets goes on. 86 Mets takes over as they turn for home. About a quarter of a mile left to go. Superstar Diva driving, trying to come back for more on the inside. Running a big one. Another seven lengths back to the others. who got to get going now. Still sexy at 60. Then Lulu's on the move and Janelle Dreams down inside for a share. They have a furlong left to go. 86 Mets kicking away. Opening up three or four lengths on Superstar Diva. Is trying to hold second and Janelle Dreams leveling off late to try to run into the exact Active with the 16th to go. 86 Mets and Heavy on Toledo. The closing Janelle Dreams coming late. 86 Mets by two from Janelle Dreams. And they're off. Try and wings. Joey Gotcha's asked for early speed and gives it now. Try and wings is on the chase. Then it's Queens are better on the outside racing in third position. Top hat Voyager and corrupt in between horses. Big Z. Little R is up close, only two off that lead. Then Painful gets a tap to go on early. Another five back and it's Mead Avenue. And Apache is the last runner. Nine to ten lengths will cover the field. They're led by Joey Gotcha. Joey Gotcha from Try and Wings, a little more than a length from Big Z. Little R in third and Queens are 
or better. And Top Hat Voyager on the outside and painful. The opening quarter in 25.14. It's Joey Gotcha leading the way. Joey Gotcha moderate clip up front from Tryon Wings in second. Big Z Little R is in third position. And Queens are better. The outside is Top Hat Voyager three wide racing fifth. It is painful racing six the inside. They're followed by Corrupt at the back of the pack. We have Apache in second last and Mead Avenue tails off to trail the field. About three furlongs left to go. Try on wings trying. Joey Gotcha for the lead. Joey Gotcha just holding on from Try on wings in second. Big Z Little R down inside their third position and Queens are better is in fourth. And next is Painful switching off to the far outside. A quarter of a mile left to go. Joey Gotcha trying to hang on. Try on wings now gets the neck lead. Big Z Little R on the outside. Big Z Little R coming on the outside at Try on wings. Big Z Little R a furlong left to go. Big Z Little R and the X-Man. Big Z Little R is 16th to the second wire finish from Try on wings getting away by a half length. Try on wings keeps on trying. Coming back at Big Z Little R. Big Z Little R wins from Try on wings. And then it was Joey Gotcha. And they're off. Dirty Foot was first away. Dirty Foot would throw the fade. And in between horses, Ori and Point stoking up early speed. Frost Song is at the rail. And Brooks Robinson now one off the rail. Now have to take the lead. So it is Brooks Robinson in front from Frost Song in second. And Dirty Foot settles it in third between horses. Rail Master is in fourth. Ori and Point is in fifth. Throw the fade is on the outside racing in sixth position. Three to four wide on that turn. Back to Mice and Men. Another seven back in confusion is the laggard. It is Brooks Robinson. Brooks Robinson with a five length lead on Dirty Foot as they approach the quarter pole. Another two and a half, and it's Railmaster racing third position. Mice and men onto the inside. Throw the fades of the far outside. Still got nine or ten to make up, and they're into the stretch of the 316s. Brooks Robinson put to a drive to hold off Dirty Foot. Dirty Foot on the outside grabs the lead at will, and here's Dirty Foot and Forrest Boyce furlong left to go. Popping away by three. Now Mice and men's running a big win into the second spot. And then it's Railmaster in third position, and throw the fade just didn't have it. It's it's going to be Dirty Foot. Dirty Foot by six to seven lengths. Mice and Men was second rail master. Then throw the fade and Frost Song. set and they're off Trusting Friend gets the first call. Field advantage speeding up to take that lead. And now Taco Supreme's in two of the red colors of the outside. Two is just flashy. They're followed by Mr. Fixit who's racing a close fifth. Another three and his cheese onto the inside. And to Blave is about seven to make up early. And my eminence is last of all. Field advantage at a good clip by a neck from Taco Supreme into the far turn. With Mr. Fixit a length and a half off them. 22.27 was that opening quarter mile. So three furlongs left to go. Taco Supreme now fully engaged. 
engaging and grab the lead and from field advantage in second. Mr. Fixit is in third, trusting friend ridden along in fourth to Blave. Getting underway under a drive from fifth and Cheese on is sixth, just in behind them. Got a bit of run too. They're at the top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. Taco Supreme, the half and 45.82 makes the turn in, leads about a length from field advantage. Out of the middle of the track is trusting friend next in third. Cheese on is coming through between horses and Mr. Fixit battling hard out of the inside. Taco Supreme, Mr. Fixit, dead game at the rail. The outside there is Trusting Friend. Trusting Friend is coming as well as to Blave. Here's Trusting Friend. Trusting Friend, Taco Supreme in the photo there with Mr. Fixit. Then to Blave and she's on. In air, off. Forced and isolated out, one, two. To the outside, there is adversary between horses is gnarly. And Colonel Andy is in that group at Wet Your Whistle. And they're followed by Sonic Boom E-Jet, who's out four to five deep, already six to seven lengths off the speed up at, oh, oh, losing the rider there. Losing the rider there was the back of the pack as they head into the far turn. It was uh, adversary who lost the rider. Adversaries lost the rider. Jockey still down on the ground as they head into the far turn run. The opening quarter went 21.88. So top of the stretch now and leading the way is forced. Forced by three lengths from isolated. As in between horses, Gnarly tries to rally from third. And Colonel Andy down inside their fourth. Switching to the far outside is Dr. Bolt. They're coming through the last furlong, and Isolated is taking a stab at Forced. Forced is trying to hold on. Forced, Isolated, Isolated, and heavy on Toledo for a double. It's going to be Isolated. Isolated to win it a little more than a length from Forced to his second. Then it was Gnarly in third. Then Bo Vuk. Here in the gate. And they're off. 50s music carries four, three for the outside. Pacific Ridge is speeding up there as Mo Focus, the favorite, right into it as well. Carries four, three full now. Settle back, settle back in the fourth position. It's fantastic in between horses is in fifth and Pistol Pussy, sixth drive at night, seventh. Tippet is racing eighth. Jose Seaview is ninth in between horses. Then Turbot and I'm Charming. Professor Zoom back of the pack with Lon's True Passion, who is last to them all, into the far turn run and 17 off the pace up ahead. Contested pace it is. On the inside, 50s music under pressure from Mo Focus, who's now getting by. Pacific Ridge continues out there three wide. It's fantastic. Tracks the trio after a 22.03 opening quarter mile. Drive at night is coming alive there from the fifth position. Carries four. Reef is in six. It's a plane is in seventh. And Tippet is eighth as they make the turn for home. And at the outside now, punching ahead in front is Pacific Ridge. Mo Focus battles on the far outside. Drive at night continues. Momentum's fantastic has come through as well. It's fantastic on the outside. Side and drive at night. Drive at night is fantastic. It's fantastic at drive at night. Shoulder to shoulder and head to head. Drive at night. Drive at night getting by. Drive at night's fantastic. Then it was Tippett in third, followed by Pacific Ridge in a blanket for fifth.
And they're off. Charging Storm in great country. Good breaks from the gate as they push into the turn run. So the leader early there. On the inside is Great Country. So Great Country showing speed. The outsiders. Victory chimes this big long shot coming to quicken up the pace. It looks good early. Eagle passes racing third just off them. Two lengths in the front. Charging Storm settle back in fourth spot. Then Bendito is in fifth. Salt Air Jump Jive and Whale and Pismo time. And the last runner is Ego Trip. Ego Trip is about 12 to 13 lengths off a 23.57 opening quarter mile. So victory chimes going winging out there leads two and a half or three lengths from great country in second Eagle pass just off the inside in third position and charging storm is next in fourth. salt air fifth jump jive and wheel still saving that ground They're followed by bendito and piz mo time is next and another two back and it's ego trip The only eight lengths on the front is ahead of the far turn victory chimes in a 47.88 half mile great country Runs back at that one just a neck off the lead now and eagle pass is getting a little closer here comes eagle pass up there, three deep into the far turn run, three and a half furlongs left to go, and Charging Storm is on the move, and so is Pismo Time. Pismo Time far outside, Pismo Time the one widest out of them all. Narrow lead now for Eagle Pass. Eagle Pass battles Pismo Time the far outside. Charging Storm in between horses, still pitching in to make three across the track with a quarter of a mile to go. They turn for home, and it's Pismo Time on the outside. Charging Storm in between horses. Eagle Pass trying to stay under a drive down to the inside. They've got a furlong left to go. Var and Pismo time, they break away suddenly by two. Eagle Pass holding stubbornly second and charging storm. Here's Jump Jive and Whale getting going late. Jump Jive and Whale, the far outside is coming quickly now. Jump Jive and Whale closing, here's the line. Photo finish, Pismo time, Jump Jive and Whale. Eagle Pass was third, then it was charging storm and salt air. In the gate, and they're off. Servoyan sent off for early speed. Any darn days right there, too, at executioner's terms in between them. And they're followed by Kaz Country, who came away running in the fourth spot. Glenn's Caper up there in fifth, and Zap to it from sixth, improving just a couple of lengths off the lead. Art of Listen in a gap of four. Victor's Chalice. Victor's Chalice got no quitter side by side. There's seven lengths on the speed up ahead. Charismatic Blue lags to the back of the pack with G.O. Lemon. What a hoots on the inside. And last is Dr. Leo J. Last a long way. Got to be 25 lengths off a 24.43 opening quarter mile. As any darn day is the leader now, any darn day from Zap to it by three parts of a length, Glenn's Caper is in third. Art of Listening getting a little closer, three and a half to four from the front and fourth, and Vickers Chalice is in fifth. Got no quick beginning in advance, got no quit of the outside, is now moved to fourth while three deep of the turn. Kaz Country's in between horses. Art of Listening is just thrown in the towel and passed by Geo Lemon, and what a hoot is next. It's to the three back to Dr. Lee. J. Charismatic Blue, Executioner's Term, Servoyant drops to last in 13th. Top of the stretch, they make the turn for home after half in 48.25, a quarter of a mile from home. Into the stretch now, and it is any darn day. Any darn day in front, two lengths from Glenn's Caper, second. Out in the middle has got no quit, the 6 and 1, 14.38 to the last furlong they run. And here is any darn day, and Katie Davis, any darn day, is running away. Any darn day by a half dozen with a 16 to go. Glenn's Caper. The inside is Vickers. Chalice going to make it close for a second. Got no quit. Has to settle for fourth and zap to it. And they're off.
Great Bulls of Fire, Evil Monkey, and Chief of Staff on the outside all breaking together for the early advantage. Now Chief of Staff will drop back a bit, about five off that pace. Set by Evil Monkey and Great Bulls of Fire to the inside. They're really going a good pace up front now. Chief of Staff is in third, five lengths off the lead. Homespun Hero, Saratoga Bob out of the clear, racing in fifth. Cord Maker, Balibor racing side by side. Divine Interventio is racing back of the pack, and Birdie's Honor is the last runner. Nine lengths from first to last, the opening quarter extremely sharp 23.05 so evil monkey sprints into the far turn run from great bowls of fire on the outside getting a bit closer one more time from second spot chief of staff is third at saratoga bob on the outside beginning to heat up with a run from fourth cord maker looms right up there in between horses from fifth position homespun heroes down to the inside divine interventio still six lengths to make up then it's back to balivore and birdies on her trailing the field half mile 46.42 and it's great bowls of fire working a narrow lead into the stretch. Great Bulls of Fire kicks on. The inside is Cord Maker in second. Saratoga Bob flattened out just a little bit. Chief of Staff Divine Interventio is coming to Big Gray on the outside. Divine Interventio on the outside getting little by little. Great Bulls of Fire trying to hold. Down on the inside, Cord Maker surging. Cord Maker, Divine Interventio, funnel finish together. Divine Interventio and Cord Maker and Great Bulls of Fire was third. Then Balibor and Saratoga Bob. along with Sky Magician. They're in the gate, and they're off. Good break for Sky Magician, still dreaming a scent up there, too. And no biz like Jet Biz has early speed and awesome agenda on the outside to make four of them a length and a half or two apart. Here's Rags for Britches racing along in fifth. Marco Island alongside from sixth position, a length and a half more. VIP ticket scores when she wants is next. They head on for the far turn run. Big boots to the back of the back, and you'll like it. Is the last runner about 11 off the pace. Contested it is with no biz like Jet Biz that head in front from still dreaming second. And an awesome agenda on the outside in third. And Sky Magician back in fourth position. Well relaxed at this stage. And Marco Allen out of the inside from fifth. In between horses, VIP ticket is next in six scores when she wants. Revving up from seventh. And in between horses, Big Boots is in eighth. The opening quarter in 22.43. They swing for home in the half mile. Went in 46.46. They make the turn for home. And on the outside now, Sky Magician just narrowly. Sky Magician trying to kick away. Sky Magician from still dreaming second. In between VIP ticket is dead game and coming with a late run too and scores when she wants on the far outside but it's going to be Sky Magician Sky Magician with a three length lead close to the Laurel line Sky Magician to win VIP ticket was second and then it was scores when she wants and still dreaming was next and also big boots in that picture Guys, they out is Friday here at Laurel Park Day following Thanksgiving. $2 hot dogs, $2 select beers, turkey dogs, chicken, sausage. We'll have plenty of prizes to give away as well on Black Friday. Guys, day out, a tradition here at Laurel Park, 1230 post time, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thanks for watching the Thanksgiving Day replay. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family from all of us here at the Mar